43,500 fans can make a lot of noise for sure. That's how many people packed the bank tonight. Our Wakisha Bailey has that part of our coverage this morning. Hey, Wakisha. Good morning, Jim. You know, although it's quiet here, now we do know that's all going to change in a matter of hours. Now, we've been mentioning all morning it is pretty cold here, but you know what? We know that these fans are going to warm up these seats as they are fired up to cheer on the Phillies, and they reminded us last night as to why we're called the Fightin' Phils. We believe in our teams. We act on our teams. We show up for our teams. This city is unbeatable. The Phils are going to win. Uh... They're going to come out swinging and we're going to win easily. The Phillies are, you know, doing great. It's just good high energy. And I'm a teacher in Philadelphia School District, so everybody's kind of like more happy than usual. I think the Phillies are going to crush it tomorrow night for the final outcome. I think it's going to be better than everyone's ever seen. Yeah. I think the Phillies are going to get it. The weather's dropping here in Philly, and I don't think they're going to be able to get it. So we not only love our fans, but we also love the players. And, you know, Jim, just standing out here in the cold, former player Mickey Morandini brought us donuts this morning. How sweet is that? Uh, that service with a smile, my friend, I'm telling you. Well, it's good stuff up there. I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, Natasha, back to you in the warm studio. It's cold, and this may work to our benefit because, you know, the Diamondbacks, they're in like a dome stadium out there. They're used to Arizona. They're not used to this cold weather, so hopefully <laughs> we'll freeze them out. Either they're not used to the weather, certainly not used to our fan base. I can assure you of that. Thank you so yes. much, J.D. We appreciate it. Try to get warm.